What is going on YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles and I am sorry, but this is the late edition of the Hot 10 list this week, the breakdown. If you guys are not familiar with this video, what I do each week is I take the 10 hottest comic books from the Key Collector app and I go through them one by one to let you guys know if I'd be buying here at these prices or I'd be staying away or possibly even selling these books if you own them. It's a really cool series that I've been doing for about six months right now. I've actually really been enjoying it. So if you have not hit that subscribe button, guys, do me a favor, click it for me. Click that like button. Of course, hit that notification bell because it does let you guys know when I do post a video because there are some good ones lately. I do have some more stuff coming, guys, so keep your eyes peeled. But we're going to jump in right here at number 10 this week. It is a copy of the Hero Trade, a briefcase, a book I'm not entirely familiar with. It was an incentive book that was sent to random collectors who redeemed a sticker from a pre-order book. Now, again, like I said, I am not familiar with this book, but a raw copy recently sold this week for $1,500, up a whopping 200% since last sale. So guys, I am not sure why all of a sudden this book has shot up and is now a 200% increase, but you know what I say if you've been watching my videos, if a book has gone up that much in such a short period of time, I'm probably staying away. Like I said, it's a book I'm not familiar with, so I can't really tell you yes or no, but because it had such a quick jump and really a large jump in such a short period of time, I'm gonna stay away here because I'm not too familiar. It might be just like, like I said, a, a small you know, time frame that you have to make a decision, so I'm staying away. I'm not a buyer of this book here right now, guys. At number, number nine is a book I am familiar with, a copy of Marvel Premiere number 10, the first Shuma Garath and the death of the Ancient One. Now, with Doctor Strange 2 and the Multiverse of Madness coming upon us early this year, or next year I should say, there's a lot of things that could be happening. We finally got the, uh, the trailer at the end of Spider-Man No Way Home. CGC 5.5 recently sold this week for 300 bucks, up 20% since November. Again, I booked that I'm not gonna go out and go crazy over and spend a lot of money on a copy. 300 bucks seems like a lot of money um to spend for a you know a mid-level villain to me i'm staying aware staying away here at these prices guys to me it's not worth it because again you might get a nice little pop and then you don't see um the character in the movie and then of course it's going to get a drop and even if you do see it i don't think that the mcu has large plans for this character of course you have the death of the ancient one as well you never know what's going to happen with that so regardless i'm staying away here at these prices at number eight this week, guys, is a copy of Batman number 190, an iconic cover by Carmine Infantino. Now, again, I love these Silver Age Batman covers. I think they're awesome, highly collectible, and they have really shot up in price over the last six months or so. CGC 6.5, recently sold this week for 209 bucks, up 5% sold since July. So to me, that's not really a big jump in price. However, to me, it is a nice, you know, mid to higher grade, $209 is not that much money, but I am not a Batman collector right now, so to me, I'm going to stay away, but for the highly collectible Batman Silver Age books, yes, I'd probably pick it up if you really are a Batman collector and you love all things Batman. Yes, it's kind of worth it, classic cover, jump on it. To me, I'm just not going to do it, so I'm staying away here at this price. At number seven this week is a book that we've been talking about for the past month. Amazing Spider-Man number 51, the second appearance of the Kingpin. We finally got, spoiler alert guys, we finally got the Kingpin in the Hawkeye series. It's all over YouTube. If you guys haven't checked it out, please do. The series is actually pretty good. I, I, I really didn't have an issue with it. However, I wasn't a fan of how they used the Kingpin in the Hawkeye series in the last episode. I'm hoping uh, we get some kind of rebirth or resurgence later on in the Echo series. That's what I'm hearing at least. Either way, CGC 4.0. Recently sold this week for $350, up 75% since November. Now that is a lot of money to spend on a second appearance. For me, I am not a buyer here at these prices. I'm going to take that $350. bucks. i am going to save a little bit more because then I can get a nice lower grade copy of the first appearance of the Kingpin, Amazing Spider-Man number 50. And like I, when I always talk about that book, I talk about a triple threat. Classic storyline, Spider-Man No More, classic cover, John Romita, and of course, the first appearance of the Kingpin. So that is what I'm buying. I'm not putting my money towards the second appearance here. I've said it before. At number six this week is a couple, copy of Marvel Team Up number 95, The First Mockingbird. Now, I do own this book. I'm proud to own this book. And a CGC 8.0. Recently sold this week for 80 bucks, up 
since September. I believe uh, we saw uh, Mockingbird in the last episode of Hawkeye. I'm pretty sure of that. Regardless, it is only $80 for an 8.0 copy of this book. Yes, I'm buying it. Again, you never know what's going to happen down the line MCU. And if you can get a nice high-grade copy, very fine CGC graded book for under $100, I'm always a buyer because to me that's worth it. Anything, anytime you can find a key book for under $100 right now, I'm definitely a buyer, especially if it's an MCU book, uh, a possible first appearance, stuff like that. I'm always buying these books for under $100. It's never a question for me. So yes, jump on it, guys. I am a fan of this one. At number five this week is a copy of Fantastic Four, number 33, the first Atuma, an Atlantean barbarian rumored for Black Panther 2. That's why this book is spiking. CGC 7.0 recently sold this week for 1130 bucks, up 66% since November. Again, another hot book right now, guys. Really, you know, almost you're almost up two thirds on your money if you bought this book before November. Again, it is not a book that I am personally collecting. Like I said, it is a nice Silver Age book. Always, you know, you can own it, no issue. I'm not spending $1,000 on this book, guys. It is a little bit of insanity right now. I don't think Atuma is going to be a large character in the MCU, but what the hell do I know? Again, that seems, just seems like a lot of money to spend. Again, it is a 7.0, a nice, you know, uh, very fine minus copy of this book, so that's great. But if I'm going to spend $1,000 on a book, it's not going to be this one, guys, so I'm staying away on this one. Unfortunately, at these prices, I'm going to wait and buy something bigger. And speaking of something bigger, at number four this week is the big king book of them all, the greatest of them all, Amazing Fantasy 15, the first appearance of Spider-Man, the first appearance of Aunt May, Uncle Ben, Flash Thompson, and this is the mother of them all, guys. We all know that Spider-Man No Way Home has been driving up everything Spider-Man. Uh, it's just been going crazy. CGC 7.0 record sale recently sold last week for $241,000. 500 bucks up 18 percent since just this past november i'm always a buyer of this book guys you guys know that it's a book i have in my collection i've owned it multiple times in my lifetime if you can afford a copy of this book i highly suggest picking one up even if the even if you have to sell off some of your big ticket books the books that you love in your collection this book will always keep going up it is my number one pick of any comic book i'd be buying right now um I do believe, however, that Spider-Man books in general, now that No Way Home is over, is going to come. Prices are going to kind of fall a little bit. Um, people are going to forget about some of the stuff we saw. Um, the movie was great, but you know, I'm not sure in the future if you're ever going to see these characters again um, with Tom Holland. So I don't know if there's going to be a Norman Osborn of the future at this point. I hope there is. I hope they do bring a Green Goblin back in the MCU, but... I have no idea. So you're going to see a little bit of a dip right now. So if you're looking to buy Spider-Man books, especially this big one, yes, I am a buyer. I'm still a buyer. And you're going to get some great deals right now. So keep a lookout. At number three this, three this week is a book we talked about last week, Daredevil number 131, the first appearance of Bullseye. And I said it last week, and I'll say it again. Yes, I am a buyer of this book in high grade. CGC 9.0. Recently sold this week for 565 bucks, up 3%. Since last month. Now again, it's only been a month and it's only gone up 3%. So to me, yes, it's still a buy. You're going to get Bullseye sometime in the MCU. Another spoiler alert for guys who haven't seen Norway Home. Daredevil or Matt Murdock is in that movie. So we know Daredevil is going to show up. And that means eventually Bullseye is going to show up. So buy your copies now if you do not own them. Yes, I'm always a buyer of this classic yellow covered book and first appearance. At number two this week is a book we talked about earlier. Amazing Spider-Man number 50 and the first appearance of the Kingpin. Again, it's a triple threat. Amazing book to own. First appearance of one of my favorite characters, Spider-Man and Daredevil characters. So again, it's a double a double villain book for both of those heroes. Book I'd always be picking up if we if I could, if I could afford it. A CGC 7.0. Recently sold this week for 3,500 bucks, up 9% since September. I've spoken about this book crazy over the past six months i own four copies of it i'm actually in the midst of trying to sell one right now just to kind of um we saw the kingpin i know he's going to have a future in the mcu going forward uh but it's always prudent to sell books when you have multiple copies especially when i think they're at their height right now uh you may see a little bit of a dip like i said in all spider-man books so yes i am a buyer of this book always uh pick the grade that you can afford add it to your collection and don't worry about it this book will continue to go higher as all uh, silver age amazing spider-man will guys 
And that number one is a book that deserves all the credit in the world for where it has come from just about over a year ago to where it is now. It is a copy of Incredible Hulk, number one, the first appearance of the Hulk. Uh, yes, this is a book I have owned. I own it now. I've owned it in the past, and I highly suggest that you pick up this book. I will say this, guys. It has taken a long time for this book to get to a price that it deserves to be at. I don't know why for such a long time that this book was highly undervalued. Um, this character was undervalued, and I'm not even sure where um, the Hulk will go in the future of the MCU, but this book is always a buy because it is super rare. It is a Silver Age key of an, a major character in Marvel. So yes, it is always a buy and a CGC. 8.5 recently sold this week for 240,000, up 82% since 2016. Compare that to the AF-15 we just talked about. The AF-15 was 7.0, now an 8.5, a little bit of a higher grade. It's selling for almost the same amount. You could see that jump that this book has had. Yes, this book is always a buy if you can afford it. If you're willing to hang on to this book long term, you're going to see a long term investment. Don't buy this book if you just want to sell it within a year because I don't think that you're going to get the big pop that you think you're going to get. Hang on to it until you're ready to let it go years and years and years down the road and you will be a happy person. But i got to be honest, if you're going to buy this book, you should be buying it because you love the Hulk, you love the character, and you love collecting Silver Age Marvel keys. So that's it for this list this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. That's the breakdown. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of videos over the past couple weeks because I've been sick. You can probably tell, but I'm starting to feel better right now. So I'm jumping on, going through this list, and I got some crazy unboxings for you guys. You're going to see over this next week. I hope you guys enjoy it. And of course, then I've had members ask me about my second video to my Punch Out Arcade. I'm going to do that as well. Get that up and uh, let you guys know, uh, let me know what you think of these videos. Like always, uh, like this video, subscribe guys if you're not a current subscriber, and I will talk to you guys soon.